versus part two. I have 12 minutes on my phone. Now, this is my choice. You guys might be here. Such a good sensation feeling when you suck the uh, the vape up your nose. My nose is not stuffed anymore. It's a little bit stuffed, but it's good now. Is that her? Yeah. And Peter, don't pay a Von Joel J 500k. Pay him a super price before we dollars. Don't pay that. He'll be pissed at you soon, sir. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's worth. Like, seriously, man, I'm like, Peter, no. Don't pay him that. If you pay him that, he'll be pissed off at you. He might not work as hard for you. I have no worry about it, man. He'll work hard for me. This is all one of those actors made for the rings, Ivan. I know, Peter. Okay, fine, Peter. How much do you really think he's worth? I don't know, Ivan. Like, 600K. I feel you're fucking cheap. No, Ivan, seriously, that's what he's worth. Like, look at his resume, Ivan. Look at his IMDb. He did victorious. <coughs> He did all these independent movies, Ivan. He did that Resident Evil movie that flopped. He's not worth, like, let me know. You're fucking crazy, Ivan. That's how much Liam Mason makes in Hollywood. He's not Liam Mason. You know what I'm saying? He's not an ace actor, Ivan. He's worth, like, 600k for your movie, Ivan. That's what he's worth. I'm like, Peter, don't pay him that. You pay him that, he'll be pissed off at you. Ivan, who cares if he's pissed off? It's his problem, Ivan. That's what he'll tell me. No, Peter, seriously, do you want him to be angry at you and pissed off at you? Ivan, who cares? It's not, it's not our problem, Ivan. <laughs> That's a good page you'll hear with you guys in the hall. will be fine, Ivan. You know, so that's what he's worth. I fear don't pay him that. Follow the payment structure. Don't pay him any less than 3.5. If you don't want to pay him four, don't pay him four. Pay him at least his 3.5 million dollars the way he's happy. Don't pay him six hundred cases. Actually funny, I'm saying, yeah. Well, Vondra would be pissed. Look, man, if you pay, <coughs> if I pay these Hollywood actors, like, like, um, if I pay the Von Julius 600k, John Baiega a million, million five, Jim Honsu like three, Don Gio like seven, they're going to be pissed off. They're not, they're getting paid, <coughs> a lot of money, but they'll be pissed off and they won't, they won't, work, they won't work as hard for Peter. <coughs> they're going to slack off more. And they're not going to brag how much rent my company is in Hollywood. Because that's how much they make in Hollywood, right? Yeah. They're getting... That's still good money. They're getting pretty good money. But they're not getting paid. Whereby they're, they're getting like their 5 million... <coughs> 4 million. 5 million. 6 million. 7 million in their bank. 8 million in their bank. That's getting paid. Whereas getting like 400,000... 800,000 in, in your bank. You're getting paid, but you're not getting paid. It makes any sense, right? You're not getting paid. And I want my comedy to be in Hollywood. And I want these guys to destroy the role. Lose themselves in character when they went for my movie. That's why I make sure they get paid. Though. That way the Hollywood actors are happy and they're not pissed at you. But it's easy for Peter to offer of Andre 600k when he's taken care of. He signed his 800 million deal. It's easy for him to say 600k is a lot of money. Because he's buying my you for the movie. Like, Peter, don't pay him that, sir. Yeah. Especially at Peter Jackson, your seventeen. They're all getting paid. It's not fair, guys. You know what I'm saying? That you're you should offer one hundred seventy cash. It's a shitty paycheck. I'm sorry. Significant other, don't pay John Baega like three million bucks. We'll be pissed off. This is in London too, so you have the pound rates. Pay him is eight point five to eight point nine. If you don't want to pay him eight point nine. Pay him at least eight point five. The way he gets paid, he's happy. Don't pay him a million bucks. A million bucks, he won't make much. He'll make a few hundred grand because he lives in 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 in, in, Brit in, in Britain, United Kingdom. Obviously, that's why he's making a bit less. Make sure he gets paid. Obviously, John Egger pretty much signed as the same deal as Avon Joe J in, in in pounds. Sixteen point like six million Canadian deals. I got an eleven million deal in pounds. So John Baeg is making the kind of money uh, of Andre is making. He's going to make his like six million after taxes. That's getting paid. Whereas if you pay him three million, he might make maybe four hundred fifty five hundred after the pound rates. That's a lot of money, but he he got paid, but he didn't he didn't get paid. Like whereby he's set for he's set for life. He can that money's not to last him for 10, 20, 30 years. 
So, sir, you can get as high end Porsches as high his Lamborghini, his 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 his, 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 his Ferrari. You can get those fucking McLaren. You can get those high end cars. You already you 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 can already afford those cars. He's worth like ten million bucks. But now he can get even more cars for himself and buy another condo, buy a condo for himself, a two million dollar house. Yeah, he got paid. He'll destroy the role of Tassitonius. Avon Jr. will destroy the role of Papari. No work hard to here. I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Yeah. And Peter, I don't want full CGI air attack. I want the actor wearing the mask and the costume. I even you don't like CGI. No, Peter. I'm mixing. I'm putting six hundred plus million dollars worth of CGI visual effects, but I want to mix it with the practical effects. That way they look more natural. What I'm doing. Some center. My TV keeps turning on. I don't want you hearing the noise. <laughs> I have to disconnect my uh, thing. I don't because the um, the thing the Chromecast I use upstairs sometimes connects to my TV. I don't want you hearing the noise. They're playing some African music. <laughs> yeah. If you don't tell Peter, Ivan, yeah, if I don't tell Peter, he's going to push for a full CGI air attack. He might even push for digital IMAX cameras. He might even push for full blue screen, green screen for the world. I'm like, no. I don't want your, I don't like your hobby look, Peter, man. I don't want full full blue screen, green screen for, for, for. Full blue, blue screen, green screen is good for movies like Star, sci-fi movies is good for that. If you're doing a science fiction movie, a space opera fantasy like Star Wars or science fiction. It's up to it's up to you what, what you categorize Star Wars in for the genre. Um, that's good. That's good for that. Digital cameras and like blue screen, green screen is good for movies like Dune and Star Wars. For for Zanus, it's not good for that. I don't. I did not like your hobble, Peter. You need to mix the practical effects with the visual effects. And we're renting film IMS cameras, not digital ones. I have a digital's where it's out. I'm like, Peter, no, we're not getting digital cameras. I want film, the film ones. That way the world looks more natural. Like we're going to the reason why I'm sorry, I know what I'm doing. But I'm going to pour all this money towards visual effects. That way it also looks amazing. You mix the two. You mix it. I'm sorry. You mix it. And we get the balance. I know what I'm doing. Sarah, if let Peter know, man, or Mel, whoever I choose. <laughs> what will be the most fun, Ivan, for, for, for pre production is probably the most fun. The most, the toughest is probably production, because filming, production is work, man. Production is, is will not be fun. It'll be fun, but it's dirty work. We're filming for, I don't know, 12, 14 hours a day for one year in the middle of nowhere. That's dirty-ass work, man. That's a lot of work. But the one year will go by fast, obviously. But And then post-production slack. We're just watching, but I mean, Peter will be overseeing post-production. We will be overseeing the visual effects guys. He can give them ideas of what he wants for the movie, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, he'll let them do their thing. But he has to watch, obviously. And I'll be watching, too. I'll watch for a couple weeks. I take a vacation. I come back to Vancouver. I watch for a couple more weeks. Peter, you can have him watch. You can send him home like for one week every month. The way he spends time with his family, grandkids, that kind of stuff. You don't want it to be. You don't want it to be away from his family for long, right? Yeah. For the documentary, the most interesting going to be pre-production, though. That's going to be interesting. Pre-production. The most boring is probably post. This post is just, it's just the people, the post actually will be pretty interesting too, it's, it's just the people adding the file, right? But they'll show you some, well, their ideas for air attack, the eagles, the whirling, and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. But the most interesting will probably be pre-production. You're, you're going to see me and my condo and my seven other, the signings, the training, all that stuff, writing the script, the concert arts. Production will be pretty sick too. You see the behind the scenes of shooting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I sick doc for that.
Is there? Two minutes left, guys. I'm done. I made an hour and like 13 minutes of you guys. That's good enough. I'm sorry. Head off here. That's why Peter Jackson will be like, Ivan, man, you have no idea how much buzz is going to have, man. Like, Eric and them are going to be like real demonic beings, Ivan. Really, Peter? Ivan, like, I've worked in this industry for 40 years. Never have I seen horror like this before. This is going to blow the horror of Exorcist, Conjuring, The Shining. The Shining isn't even that scary. The Shining. Um, 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 I don't even horror. This is going to make my Orc High Army in Two Towers and my Rearmaids of Fellowship Ring look good, Ivan. Looking at real demonic beings, Ivan. I can't wait for this movie. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited too. He's all excited and happy, yeah. Excited for the movie, Peter. Yeah, he's excited. Peter, are you more excited for this movie than Lord of the Rings? Fuck yeah, Ivan. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck, fuck you like Ivan. Bob Shane and Michael Lynn ripped me the fuck off. They owed me money. And they gave me a shitty arm of a budget. They didn't give me my freedom. They didn't pay me, pay me the kind of money you're paying me, Ivan. Fuck you, like You might tell me that. <laughs> I'm way more excited for your movie, Ivan. Yeah. Yeah, well, tell me, tell me, yeah, Ivan, fuck Hollywood, man. Your company's way better than fucking Hollywood. Hollywood is fucking shit compared to your company, I, I know. My company's better than Hollywood. Well, it's not shit compared to my company, but it's not as good as my company, man. My company's better than Hollywood. Incredibles company, man, yeah, man. That's why the buzz of Zanes will blow the buzz of Avengers, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Transformers, The Matrix, Marvel. It will blow DC. Blow the buzz of all these IPs out of the water. It's an Ivan and it's never another movie. And it's the most expensive we ever made. Best story, fast story we're told, by the way. Based on an adaption. And yeah, it's, it's crazy buzz. And it was just for 